Welcome to expanding binomial expressions using the Pascal's triangle problem number two. So here we want to expand x minus one over x everything raised to power four. So what we're going to do is we're going to recall the Pascal's triangle. If um, you're not familiar with the Pascal's triangle, please refer to earlier videos where we have discussed the Pascal's triangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the power. That's the first thing that we do. We look at the power. And then we go to the Pascal's triangle where that number four is as in the second place, in the second term, as a second number in a row. So this power four is the second number in this row. So these are the coefficients that we're going to use in expanding this binomial expansion. Okay, so this is what we're going to have. Our first term is x. It will be raised to power 4. Our second term, notice here that the second term includes a minus sign. So if it's a minus, we, we include the minus sign. So second term is minus 1 over x and raised to power 4. Then, as we've done earlier, the first term, we will be reducing in power by 1. So what we have here is the first term raised to the power 4, reducing in power by 1 to 3, then to 2, then to 1, and eventually 0. And the second term will be increasing in power by 1. So we've got a 0 here, to, to 1, to 2, to 3, and then eventually to 4. Okay, and then these terms simply have these um, coefficients. We have got 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. 1, second, 4, third is 6. So we've got a 6 there. Fourth is 4. We've got a 4 there. And um, the fifth is what? 1. And we've got a 1 there. Okay, I didn't mention this in the previous um, videos. I want to mention it now. That if you're expanding anything to the power 4, the resulting terms will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the resulting term will always increase by 1. Notice here, this is the um, row for expanding um, a binomial expression raised to power 3. But the number of terms that will be produced that we will be solved at the end of the day will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3 increases by plus 1 makes 4. This is for 2, 2 plus 1 equals 1, 2, 3. This is for 1, 2 plus 1 equals 1, 2. Okay, and so on and so forth. And then the other thing, again, which I didn't mention in the previous videos, is that um, when we add the powers of the um, first term and the second term, so the powers here are 4 plus 0, they'll always be equal to the initial power that we wanted to expand. So here we've got what? 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Um, here 2 plus 2 is always equal to 4. 1 plus 3 is always equal to 4 and um, 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to simplify um, this um, binomial expression using what? The laws of indices. So again, if the power is 0, that would be 1. That would be 1, which will simply leave us to, with what? With x to the power 4. Um, 1 there, we're going to forget about it because anything raised to the power 1 is itself. So it will remain like that. Um, where else? Here. Um, the 1 here, we're going to forget about it because anything raised to the power one is itself so the one here has disappeared and this one and that x raised to power zero is simply one 
and hence uh, the two ones here have disappeared leaving us with only that okay then um, what we're going to do next is we're going to apply loads of indices further okay notice the first term has not been touched much um, so also it's a second term is still remains away it's a positive thing but um, on the third term we know that um, the minus one there will be raised to power two so we're going to have minus one multiplied by minus one which simply gives us one there and then this x will also be raised to power two so we're going to have x raised to power two like that here as well uh, we know that this minus one will be raised to power three so we're going to have minus one multiplied by minus one multiplied by minus one which will give us uh, minus one and then this x here is going to be raised to power three which will give us simply x raised to power three okay here also um, the minus one here will be raised to power four so we're going to have minus one multiplied by minus one multiplied by minus one multiplied by minus one which will give us a positive one this one and then um, this x here will also be raised to power four so that's how we're going to have that okay and lastly we'll simplify the whole lot of that um, which is that this is uh, what we have from from the previous board and which when you simplify will simply become that okay um sorry for that um we're going to uh remove uh, raise x to the power four so you can simply write write those x to the power four like that okay what do we have here we have got x to the power three divided by x so one of the x's will cancel out leaving us with how many x's um just two so we're going to have x to the power two here when this x cancels out with one of the x's on top here we've got actually three x's that's what x to the power three means so x to uh, this so here we have got x multiplied by x multiplied by x and then we cancel out one leaving us with only two x's but we've got a minus sign here because this minus will multiply with that one giving us what minus four okay here that one and that one will cancel out leaving us with only what six multiplied by one which should give us six here we've got one x on top we've got two x's on the bottom so the one x on top will cancel out with one of the x's on the bottom leaving us with only two x's on the bottom here on the denominator and notice we've got a negative sign here again because that minus one multiplied by four will give us um minus four and here if we remove the brackets it just remain like that okay so that's um, example number two um expanding binomial expressions using pascal's triangle please try out the following examples okay following the first thing that you've got to do is um, construct the pascal's triangle and then simply pick the coefficients for the um the 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 the, the, the terms of the binomial um expansions for further reference please refer to John Bed, Engineering Mathematics 6th edition. You can also refer to the commonly known as um, Pure Than Applied, um, Talbot 6th edition as well. Thank you for listening.